Hello everyone! Um, today, since the Thanksgiving Day is approaching, I want to share with you a recipe that I have made several times and it's always been appreciated by everybody trying it. It's a soup made with butternut or kabocha squash, chestnuts, and crunchy guanciale. So basically, if you can find the fresh chestnuts, you have to boil them whole as are with rosemary and sage, and then you cook about as much uh, squash, again, either butternut or kabocha. Uh, you can either boil that or you can put it in the oven, you can put it in the microwave with the same two herbs, rosemary and sage. And then, once they are cooked, you blend two-thirds of the peeled chestnuts and all of the squash. You might need a little bit of broth to make it into a dense cream. Then in a pan, you saute guanciale until it's crispy discard some of the fat because one charlie will render quite a bit of fat um, add the remaining third of chestnuts crumbled and cook it another couple minutes probably just enough to combine all of the flavors then serve the soup in individual bowls and top with this mixture of guanciale and chestnuts. Um, everybody loves it and really, I mean, it's so good. If you cannot find fresh chestnuts, which are rather complicated to find, you can use um, pre-boiled and peeled chestnuts, possibly from Italy, and you can find them in uh, specialty stores, I would think. And they are perfect because they are already peeled and make the whole process match faster. This being said, um, not everybody can find kabocha squash, but please give it a try if you find it. I actually think it's sweeter than the than the butternut squash, Cornelia. And um, I keep serving this year after year after year, um, and it's just phenomenal. You can, if you can find guanciale, I would actually crumble some sausages or brats and use those instead of guanciale. Um, if you plan on making it, please let me know what you think about it, and I am pretty sure you will not be disappointed. So stay tuned for new suggestions and recipes. Bye!